The respiratory system is all the organs of the body that take part in gas exchange, taking in oxygen and expelling carbon dioxide. The respiratory system starts at the nose and mouth and ends down in the lungs at the alveoli, where gas exchange occurs. It can be divided into two sections by two different classifications. An anatomical classification divides the system into the upper and lower respiratory tract based on the location above or within the thorax. The upper respiratory tract is therefore the nose, pharynx and larynx, and the lower respiratory tract is the trachea, bronchi, bronchioles, alveolar ducts and alveoli. A perhaps more useful functional classification divides the system into the conducting zones, which is the nose down to the bronchioles, where the role is warming, filtering and humidifying inspired air, and the respiratory zones, which officially is just the alveoli, where gas exchange takes place. Each part of the upper airways and conducting system is specially adapted to its role in gas exchange. The nose and nasopharynx have hairs to filter out particles in inhaled air and to aid with warming. The membranes of the nasopharynx and pharynx produce mucus, which traps even more particles from inhaled air. Cilia help this mucus move upwards and out of the airway via the nose and mouth. The membranes of the upper airway help warm and humidify air, such that the air is 100% saturated with water by the time it reaches the lower airways. Below the larynx is the trachea, a pipe that connects the upper airways to the lungs. The trachea divides into the left and right main bronchus at a junction called the carina to serve each lung. These main bronchi are of relevance because the right main bronchus sits at a less acute angle, with the proximal upper bronchus dividing off the right main bronchus very soon after this division at the carina. Inhaled foreign bodies therefore have a tendency to lodge in the right main bronchus, and in endotracheal intubation, where a tube is inserted into the airway to facilitate mechanical ventilation, it can be easy to inadvertently insert the tube down the right main bronchus, blocking off the whole left lung. The lower airways need the air they receive to be warmed, humidified and filtered. Failure of any of these stages can cause damage to the cells and membranes that can impair gas exchange. However, the majority of the lower airway is still part of the conducting system. Gas exchange does not begin until beyond the respiratory bronchioles, where alveolar ducts filled with alveoli finally become the respiratory zone. The alveoli have a huge surface area for air to make contact with blood. This alveolar capillary membrane is where air meets blood and gas exchange finally takes place.